other news, as officials continue to search for the cause of this massive explosion and fire at a South Philadelphia refinery last Friday, we're learning more about the future of the plant. Philadelphia Energy Solutions wants to permanently shut down the refinery. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden is live in South Philadelphia with more. Joe. Good afternoon. It is certainly not a bright future, but you wouldn't know by the traffic here this afternoon. It would appear business is as usual, though we understand the union is about to kick off a meeting with its more than 1,000 laborers discussing this announcement today confirmed by the Philadelphia mayor's office. Friday's explosions and resulting fire at Philadelphia Energy Solutions refinery have proven to be the death knell for the facility that all told employs and supports some 2,000 laborers. The announcement confirming the move came from the mayor's office early Wednesday morning. In a statement, he said, and I quote, I'm extremely disappointed for the more than 1,000 workers who will be immediately impacted by this closure, as well as other businesses that are dependent on the refinery operations. The city is committed to supporting them during this difficult time in any way possible, end quote. 24 hours earlier, labor leaders speculated on the effects of a shutdown. As far as closing down this refinery, uh, you know, PES employs about 1,200 uh, uh, employees directly, but we also have another about 800 to 900 members of the building trade who work here every day. So, you know, roughly 2,000 employees and there's tens of thousands that go from there. Um, so it would be de devastating economically to the region, um, you know, and the tax base here in the city. So, you know, what, you know, one would only think what programs will be cut, uh, you know, if this tax base was uh, wiped out. The explosions and fire exposed numerous safety concerns for not only workers, but also for those who live close to the hulking facility that has sat along the Schuylkill River for decades. A call to the company for comment on the looming shutdown was not immediately returned. And we're back live. The ripple effect by the closure could be into the several of thousands of different contractors and vendors who come to this facility daily. Now, we did reach out to Ryan O'Callaghan with USW, the spokesman you saw in the story. He said he was only talking to his members at this point and declined to answer any of our questions. We're live here outside the refinery in South Philadelphia. I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Joe.